All right, what's going on everybody? It's Spencer and today I'm gonna recap the rest of my indoor season and uh, just kind of, you know, flush out the uh, indoor season as a whole so I can move on to the outdoor season. So where I left off after the first recap was, it was our home stand. It was uh, OAC North and Dr. T. And I was a little frustrated when it uh, came down to the end of that, the end of that video. And you know, I kind of had to keep like a forward thinking process throughout. And that forward thinking uh, was uh, what took me right to uh, Hillsdale, and that's where we're gonna start today's video. So Hillsdale has a 200 meter track like everybody else, but there's a difference to this track. It's not like the hydraulic bank, which would have been uh, the second most common uh, type of track in this case, if you're uh, in like the higher up divisions or if you go to like Birmingham Crossplex or something. Um, anyways, it's a 200 meter track, but it has 75 meter turns and 25 meter straights. So it's a wide track and the lanes are the size of an outdoor track lane, which I believe is like four feet across. So it's a pretty nice track, a pretty nice facility. And we've gone up there the past couple of years and it's been really good for us and really beneficial for us as a team to uh, face some really good competition. I ended up running a nice PR in the 5K at Hillsdale on the first night because it's a two night meet. So I ran a PR in the 5,000. I ran 16, 22, 16. And you know, I was really, really ecstatic about that because last year at the same meet, I PR narrowly, but I didn't make near the uh, tactical errors I did last year. So that was a huge step in the right direction for me. And the mile the next day, uh, I also got out and it was a really physical and aggressive race. The mile I kept getting cut off by a bunch of Michigan club runners and I was getting sick of it so I kind of got mad at, at one point during the race and it was like the last like 40 meters I got mad. I came flying off the turn and I mean I, I, I want to say I closed this in like 32 or something but I closed pretty fast. I got really upset and and I just passed a bunch of people. I was like storming down the front straight. I crossed the line and I'm like passing my coaches to uh, get my stuff because I left it behind them. And you know, I'm grumbling to myself about being cut off and it, it was uh, it was something else. I, I wasn't super happy about being cut off because like, I don't cut people off that much, especially when it comes to a race such as the mile. Or even the, like even the five or 10K, I don't cut people off. Like, don't usually cut people off, I should say. I've, I've done it before. Um, but like, you know, it, it, I guess, I guess you can uh, say, say it in NASCAR terms, it's Rubbins Racing, I guess. Um, I don't know. But you know, I PR'd in the mile too, so that was a really, really good meet. And then after that, we come back home for mid-February and all Ohio. And I vlogged both of those meets. And as you saw at the mid-February meet, um, I won my heat of the 3K in a PR time of 9.22.52. Um, that, that was really cool. That was also a really annoying race because I kept getting cut off by the Case Western kids that were in the race and um, I want to say in that vlog I kind of voiced my displeasure for B 
being cut off and like, you know, stuff like that. It was starting to really get annoying for me. So that was the only race I ran at mid-feb and the next day at All Ohio, I ran the 1200 leg of the DMR. DMR team got absolutely torched. At least it's at me. Um, I ran exactly what I should have and I still couldn't crack uh, top eight, which would have been uh, scoring. And you know that would have been nice if I uh, was able to uh, crack the top eight and score. But you know it didn't happen and it is what it is. And that's gonna lead us into uh, Mount Union Raider Last Chance, which was the uh, vlog before the uh, conference trip that you saw. Um, that one, that one's still a tough race to uh, handle for me, as I missed uh, going to OACs by half a second. And you know, I'm just gonna let that uh, fuel my uh, fire throughout. The, uh, outdoor season I set a bunch of uh, little reminders for myself to uh, say hey you know this is what happened and uh, there's like little words and phrases that are gonna pander to my anger I guess you can say um, and it, it's so far kept me uh, focused and engaged and that's that's what I want so yeah, that'll pretty much do it. That pretty much was my uh, indoor season. So, you know, again, thanks for watching. Uh, this video is a lot shorter than the uh, last vlogs or the last videos. I know Columbus was a really long one because I counted a lot of clips. But again, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, sticking with me. Uh, spring break is coming, so. Maybe we'll have uh, some workout videos, you never know, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Um, all my social media is going to be on the left side of the screen. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Spence Mahan. You can follow me on uh, Twitter, Spence Dog Runs. And you can uh, follow my Snapchat as well, same as Instagram, at Spence Mahan. And again, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Deuces.